Well, hey there. Well, hi there. Well, ho there, Travel Start. It's Liz with Travel Start. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, I know that you guys can spend your time absolutely anywhere and that you choose to spend it with me just makes my heart happy. So thank you so much for that. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell, and become part of the Travel Start family. Let's build something great together, guys. So today's video is part three in the Why Go on a Cruise series, and we are going to talk about the onboard experience. Okay, this video could take a little bit of time, um, but I'm gonna try really hard to keep the time, to keep it down, okay? so. The things to do aboard a cruise ship are many and they are varied. Uh, okay, so you can, of course, eat. The food in and of itself is kind of like a destination, especially if you're a foodie. The food is, you know, big. Um, many times there are things for the kids to do or for the young at heart. So, um, for instance, I want to say the Norwegian Encore has... Um, like go-karts on the top, like a speed raceway on the top of the ship. They have laser tag on the top of the um, raceway. It's like virtual um, laser tag on the top of of the Encore. Um, there are many ships that have water slides, that have um, pools, that have jacuzzis, um, that have spa retreats, that have adults only areas. There is usually some type of show aboard the ship. Now they can vary from Broadway shows to off-Broadway. Many ships have their own production companies and so you can... Um, you may see on one cruise line kinky boots which i think is royal caribbean right now um and or you may see their like 80s review and i'm telling you we went to an 80s review and we had a good old time like there was i know donna summers is more 70s but there was like some donna summers and there was some prince and there was some michael jackson and there was just the music was really good and i was like bopping along and dancing and i don't bop but i bopped then i love to dance love 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 to dance and you couldn't it was just infectious so usually the singing is really good the dancing is really good the shows draw you in and make you want to actually go and see it and 95% of the time the shows included in the cruise okay so there are occasions where they have something super super um, extraordinary for the cruise line and there may be a charge for that but typically and for the most part um, those productions are included in the show. I know Norwegian, uh, not Norwegian, but uh, Royal Caribbean even has an aqua theater. And so they do this, it's kind of a show that is in water with diving and kind of a Cirque du Soleil style thing. So, um, so theaters, another good reason. The shows is another good reason to go. They typically have some type of dance class. There may be shuffleboard. There's usually a miniature golf somewhere. Um, some some cruise lines have uh, rock climbing walls. There is zip lining on some cruise lines. Um, there's wine tasting. There's alcohol tasting. There is an art auction that takes board takes place on board. Um, there's tons of shopping. There's there's just lots of like activity things that you can get yourself involved in on a cruise ship. Now, if you are the kind of person that wants a more zen, relaxing environment, take everything I said and set it aside. They there's typically a spa. Um, there is typically a place where you can go and um, get in the sauna. Uh, many, many, many cruise ships have some type of thalasso pool or saltwater style pool to help, uh, like a jacuzzi style, that helps to pull off um, some of the toxicity in your body and help you relax. There's, you can get um, spa services, typically those are at a cost. Matter of fact, usually if you're not on the spa level, then you would have to pay to to utilize the Thalassal pool or their um, kind of float spa type type thing. It's not exactly a float spa, but there's a lot of like salt or vo volcanic ash or whatever in the water. So anyways, typically that's at a cost, but it is on board. Um, there's also some type of a fitness center or gym on board. 
do not expect like any big heavy 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 weights because you are on a cruise ship and just in case it it bobs or weaves they don't want anyone to get hurt so um, typically they have cardio machines and they have smaller dumb dumbbells and so on and so forth but typically a pretty good selection of um, equipment that you can work out on so so that you know um, again there's also usually some form of adults only area and you can go um, sit in a jacuzzi and relax um, many ships have libraries or um, some type of a um, what am I trying to say? The um, like a computer area where you could cyber cafe. She's went out of my head. Um, cyber cafe. So typically there are things for people who maybe want to sip a glass of wine and read a book, or, or you know curl up in a lounge chair and just relax and rest. There are adults only areas. You know if maybe you you kind of want a place where you don't have kids and things like that running around and so on and so forth. So to cater towards people that really want you know the spa and the, the wellness and all that they do have things aboard the ship now there are also things for the young and the young at heart so sometimes there's cigar rooms or there's vodka rooms um i know that there's a um there is a vodka room aboard one of the ships that we're supposed to be going on so anyways it's like cold it's freezing it's like ice i'm not big on cold but if you guys like it there you go. Um, so there is that. Again, art auctions. There's a, typically a casino on every single ship out there as far as I know. I, I don't actually know of any that don't have casinos on them, to tell you the truth. So there you go. Um, there are kids clubs. So if you're traveling with, you know, young ones or little ones, typically there's there is a age appropriate club that you can take your kids to and they have people that have been trained to deal with children and so on and so forth and you know if something happens they can call you or get a hold of you via like a page or cell phone or whatever to let you know there's something happening with your child or children usually there's one for teenagers there's ones for little people and there's kind of a, a group in between but it depends on the cruise line um, so there you go so when I say that it's varied and there's so many different things to choose from, I mean there's so, so many. Um, some people take cooking classes. Um, I mean, honestly, the more I think about it, more things come to mind. Now that's on the cruise ship. Off the cruise ship, you can go to, you know, whatever port and typically there's some form of shore excursion that you may choose to go to. So um, I'll give you I'll give you the most common ones. Um, typically scuba diving, um, scuba diving, I'll get that out. Horseback riding, ATVs, zip lining, um, catamaran of some form, wine tour, uh, sometimes it's just an alcohol tour like Bacardi or um, Caraco or you know whatever tequila tasting that type of thing um, sometimes there's a wine and shopping tour like a walking tour where you go around the city um, sometimes there are historic tours actually most places have some type of historic tour um, those are like the most common there there can be like champagne brunches um, you can go and see um, like the monkey enclosures or the parrots or things like that, butterflies. So indigenous creatures, you, you know, maybe swim with the stingrays or the turtles or dolphins and, you know, things like that. Those are kind of the most common ones, the items that people want to do. Many times there's something you can do that's spa-like. Many times you can go to a resort or a beach. Um, and just relax for the day and there's a nominal fee they take you somewhere where it's safe and the cruise lines won't leave without you if you don't make it back on time etc etc so um or the cruise line will fly you to the next destination at their own expense so um so again lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of things to do you can stay in your cabin you can sit and and just watch the ocean come in you can you know take off and go on you know out into public places and go do things you can get drinks you can go dance there are typically clubs on board there are comedy clubs on board there's karaoke there's lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of things to do um, typically at the beginning of the day they slide something underneath your door and it will tell you a list of 
things or activities that are happening for the day, things not to miss, etc., etc., and you choose what you want to go to. Um, there are a couple of uh, more luxury. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. The camera just shut off. Um, so there are a couple of luxury or premium cruise lines that still have a formal night and um, that have dress codes. So um, for instance, if you're going on Carnival Cruise, you don't worry about dress codes. They typically have a formal night, but it's not mandatory. So, you know, you dress how you feel like dressing. Norwegian, I would say, is... Um, like the average cruiser, right? Cruise comfortable. So you have on some type of shorts, like khaki style shorts or cargo shorts and a button up shirt of some form or t-shirt and you're fine. You know, you're fine. Um, but if you're going on say like an Azamara or Canard or something like that, consider it business casual. So khaki pants, um, some type of a collared shirt, maybe a polo tee, that type of thing. Something very feminine for the, the, the ladies, maybe a nice long dress or some type of a slack set. Um, you know, think silks and, and rayons and cashmeres and things like that. So um, depending on your cruise line, just saying, that, that whole, the whole thing matters. So I think that's a really good overview of things to do and what to expect and how to dress and you know all of that great stuff so I hope that that helps you when you're considering booking a cruise and also your travel professional will be able to help you choose a cruise line that matches up with your um, traveling style whatever that may be okay so that's it just like all the other times don't forget to like subscribe share hit the notification bell or whatever it is that the social network that you're seeing this video on um, requires so if it's a like or a join like or join so on and so forth um, and get social with us we are trying to build travel start as a travel community of positive people that want to travel and make the world their home so please get social with us and become part of the travel start family and uh, just lots of warm wishes and gratitude and joy and laughter and all that stuff. And I will see you on the very next video. Um, the last video on cruising is, what am I forgetting? Oh, I want to talk about seeing the world. That's my last video, at least for a while. So um, I will see you guys on the very next video, okay? Bye, guys.